This one is an adventure in modifiers. The subject of the sentence is modified by two clauses. One of them is the modifier techniques called proton-induced X-ray admission. The other is technique originally developed for detecting air pollutants. There's a big difference between these two modifiers. The first one is called a vital modifier. It's vital because it tells us exactly the identity of the noun that we're talking about. We're talking about a technique. And so we just saw the word technique. We'd wonder, what, a technique for basket weaving, a technique for walking on the tightrope? No, a technique called proton-induced x-ray emission. So that narrows down precisely what technique we're talking about. The other one, originally developed for detecting air pollutants, that's informative but that doesn't necessarily identify it exclusively. So this is a non-vital modifier. It is not vital. A vital modifier should follow the noun directly without a comma. A non-vital modifier should be offset by commas. And in fact, a vital modifier can come between the noun and a non-vital modifier. So in the first one, we have non-vital modifier, comma, applying to technique, perfectly correct, then followed without comma by the vital noun modifier, so all good. In the second one, we have non-vital modifier set off by commas, but then we have having the ability, so it sounds like pollutants and are having the ability, so having should not be next to pollutants, so that's a misplaced modifier. Then we have technique originally developed, so this is, a, this is problematic certainly because we have the noun followed without comma by the non vital modifier. And then we get pollutants called. So it sounds like this called is modifying pollutants. Same in D. It sounds like called is modifying pollutants. Notice also that some of these answers have can, which is, which is direct, but others have having the ability, has the ability, that's a disaster compared to can. If you can just say can do something versus have the ability to do something, have the ability to do something, you're never going to be correct on the GMAT. That is far too wordy. So C and D are out. E is just an absolute disaster of wordiness. A technique that was originally developed and has the ability to do quickly and without destroying the suction called proton. So it sounds like the substance itself is called. So that is totally incorrect. It is super wordy, so that's just a disaster. And notice that A is very clear. All the modifiers are modifying the correct thing. It is sleek. It is accurate and direct. It is by far the best answer choice.